सर्कल एंड इट्स प्रॉपर्टीज पार्ट थ्री टुडे वी विल लर्न व्हाट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन रेडियस एंड सर्कल नेहा एंड वंदना डिड यू गेट सम सक्सेस इन मेजरिंग द व्हील्स यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट यस्टरडे यस सर वी मेजर्ड ऑल फोर व्हील्स सो टू मेजर द व्हील्स Which properties of the circle did you measure? Sir, we measured the radius of all the wheels. Then let us see whatever you have measured. Here you are, sir. Yes, your measurements look right. Which wheel had the largest circle? The rear wheel of the tractor had the largest circle. And which was smaller, front wheel of the tractor or the bicycle? This will be a little difficult to tell. Just like you have told about the rear wheel of the tractor that it was the largest the same way you can also tell about both these wheels So we had seen all the wheels so we were able to tell that rear wheel of the tractor is the largest I thought that you were looking at the measurement of these radius So how can we tell whether a circle is small or big by measuring the radius We can definitely say I'll explain. What is a radius? So, the distance from the center to the boundary is called radius. Absolutely right. And if we increase the radius, the distance from center to the boundary will increase. Yes, sir. See, this is a circle whose radius is this. Now, we will increase this radius and look, we have now got a big circle. Now if we increase this radius further we get an even bigger circle now if we decrease this radius then we will get a small circle larger the radius the larger the circle and smaller the radius the smaller the circle now i can tell whether the front wheel of the tractor is bigger or the wheel of the bicycle please tell So the wheel of a bicycle is bigger because its radius is 9 inches which is more than the radius of the wheel of the tractor which is 8 inches this means when we know the radius or diameter of a circle we can tell whether it is big or small without looking at the circle yes absolutely correct so why are there so many radius in the circle on the wall behind you which one oh this one This is a shok chakra but you are right that it is in the shape of a circle and there are many lines joining the center to the boundary so they can be called a radius but what is your question so my question is why does it have so many radius a circle can have only one radius no you got it wrong tell me what is the radius So radius is the distance from the center to any point on the boundary of the circle. Absolutely correct. And how many points can there be on a circle? There can be many. Absolutely right. And lines can be drawn from the center to all those points. Now tell me what will all these lines be called? So we will call it a radius only. Absolutely correct. Like this there can be several radius in one circle like in the ashok chakra and also in the wheel of our bicycle now i understand sir today we learned when the length of the radius is greater a large circle is formed as the length of the radius decreases a small circle is formed and there are many radius in one circle